This video is intended for people 13 and older. Who was King Richard III of England? Born October 2nd, 1452. One of the many kids of Richard, 3rd Duke of York. But he was raised by Richard Neville, 16th Earl of Warwick. Our Richard became Duke of Gloucester. But oh no, the War of the Roses is happening. Super quick recap. Henry VI Lancaster has special needs and he lost the 100 Years War with France. After that, it's basically Game of Thrones. Richard, third Duke of York, is Eddard Stark. Henry VI's wife, Margaret of Anjou, is Cersei Lannister. Edward of Westminster is Joffrey Baratheon. And Edward IV of York is Rob Stark. That all set up, the basics is... Henry VI to Edward IV to Henry VI to Ed IV, the end. And then Edward and Richard remembered their brother, George of Clarence, kind of sided with the Lancasters. So we're gonna draw and quarter him! But their mom convinced them to not do it. And Richard remembered, George always said, What better way to end a day than to drown yourself in a cake of wine? So, uh, yeah, plan B was to drown him in wine. But soon after, Edward died from appendicitis. So his 12-year-old son became Edward V. And his bestest uncle ever decided to look over little Edward and his brother Richard. Richard York then declared them both illegitimate and locked them into the Tower of London. And they mysteriously disappeared. Ooh. So Richard became Richard III. But only after being king for three years, plot twist. Daenerys Targaryen, I mean Henry Tudor, comes across the narrow sea of the Straits of Dover to claim the throne. Henry is four generations from the brother of Henry IV, John. At the Battle of Abbon Hill, Richard III made his final stand and died, being the last monarch of English history to die in battle. He was planted where he laid, and years later he wanted to be rediscovered into 2012 underneath a parking lot. To DNA match, they looked at Richard III's sister, 17th generation later, Michael, who was a Canadian word worker. And he also made his coffin for the 2015 reburial of Richard III. And being 17th generations related to him, that kind of means Michael could claim the British throne if he really wanted to as Michael I. One last note, Richard III looks like Lord Farquaad from Shrek.